Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Doris. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Yes, so today I want to share with you about freelance visas in Dubai for all those people who don't like 9 to 5 jobs. I personally don't like 9 to 5 jobs. If you've worked for a number of years, maybe you've worked for like 3 years and you've accumulated some experience and you feel it's time to go freelance, you know, for all those people who have entrepreneurship skills and you're just feeling I can sell something, I have some skills that I can sell out maybe you're a content creator like me yeah content creation is a job <laughs> yes or you're doing photography you're doing accounting you're doing marketing somewhere you're a media person somewhere and you're feeling that it's time for you to start something of your own to be able to make more money and also to be able to be, uh, have flexible time then freelance is the easiest way to go and on this video I want to share with you how much is it going to cost you uh, where can you make applications in UAE and also what are some of the benefits of you, you having a freelance visa so make sure you subscribe to my channel if this is something that you're interested in the advantages of having a freelance visa is one you're not working a nine to five job I personally I don't like working nine to five job you just want to work when you you know you're flexible if you feel like starting to work at 10 and finishing at 6 or 7 like you're free to do so so you don't have to crop uh, you know that machine every day you go in 9 and 6 you out and you someone is checking what time you came to work and or not so it's flexible in terms of timing and then also it's flexible in terms of earning you know unemployment at the end of the month you only pay you only earn this much you only earn enough money to be able to help you go next month to be able to get more money like you'll keep earning money that is not exactly enough and it will make you come next month next month next year so with freelance visa you have unlimited opportunities to earn all the money that you want and uh, because you can get as many tenders or you can work wherever you want and how, no matter how many hours you want to work with and then also you can sponsor your family once you have a freelance visa and you're settled you get your visa you can sponsor your kids you can sponsor your husband or your wife and also you also get to choose what you want to work on like for example you get to choose the projects that you want to work on the companies that you want to work on and the government is bringing initiatives on on, on uh, supporting uh, freelance uh, owners or maybe solo entrepreneurship like they put a way whereby you can put your own tenders like it's you, you, you're supported with all the information that you need so it, it becomes easier for you to thrive in so these are some of the reasons why you need to work uh, on a freelance visa you just want to be waking up at the beach with your laptop and you're busy doing your job so long as you're making money it doesn't matter where you're working on even at a coffee shop starbucks or somewhere like here you just come yeah, sit with your laptop and you start working and so uh, th those, are, those are some of the reasons why you need to do your freelance visa and I'm sure you're wondering in, in UAE where can you apply a freelance visa. So different uh, UAE states have different requirements, but you can apply for freelance visa in Abu Dhabi, um, Umakwen, um, Fujairah, Ras Al Khaima, Ajman. Basically all UAE um, cities, they have their own uh, requirements or they have their own freelance visa. But on this video, I'll share with you the link for making application for Abu Dhabi and also for Dubai I'll put the link below so just before I, st I start the video I just want to give you this heads up uh, kindly kindly make sure you check on the freelance visa don't there are so many scammers like you get so many people advertising they are giving freelance visa and people end up losing money or paying so much money I'm going to put the link below there is gofreelance.ae which is for Dubai and also for Abu Dhabi I'll put the link below but before you pay money for the freelance visa kindly confirm that the person you're paying or the, like it's, it's genuine just confirm that it's genuine it's from the government and it's genuine and then number two if you want to do freelance so freelance basically it's like you own your own company 
you own your own business because you're operating the business under your name or whatever you're doing you're doing it under your name so before you do this just make sure you you have enough money like make sure you have saved enough money for like six months you do not want to you know just start doing this and then you're wondering like uh, I don't have enough money what can I do so make sure you have saved enough money for six months for your for your expenses if you're running a business and you're also using the same money you're getting from the business then it becomes very hard to learn a business you need to ensure that you have enough money to last you for six months for your your accommodation for your food and all that that way it's easier to run a business because you're not uh, running it from the point of need you're running it because you're happy to do it and to pursue it and you're not worried where you're going to get your rent I'm saying this because I recently started something of the sort and I know like running a business uh, what it takes you need to have money and you need to have sorted out all other issues so that's said and done uh, today I'll only discuss the UAE freelance visa and there are like four authorities in Dubai that are giving this freelance visa there is Dubai Media City there is uh, Dubai Internet City, there is Knowledge Village, and then there is another one, there is Dubai, um, I'll just put them the, the four of them here. So you can visit any of these authorities and you can find out what, uh, whether your, the activity you want to offer, whether it's categorized there. And then once you've uh, known which, which activity you want to do, the next step would be for you to, to make the application. So to make the application in Dubai, you just need to go to gofreelancer.ae. I'll put the website here. You just need to go there and then the documents that are needed to, uh, the cost, the cost for the visa. So one, you can get a visa if you if you already if you're already in Dubai and you're looking for a freelance permit. Uh, if you're looking for a freelance permit, you just need to make application. If you're already working in Dubai, you have residence in Dubai, or you're sponsored by your spouse, you already have a visa. You just need to apply for a freelance permit, and it's going to cost you seven thousand five hundred dirham. And you also need to pay establishment card, which will cost you two thousand dirham. So seven thousand five hundred dirham for the freelance permit and 2000 dirham for uh, establishment card and this is for one year uh, the other scenario is whereby you don't have a visa in Dubai you're somewhere you're in India you're in US you're in Nigeria you're somewhere in the world and you don't have a you don't have a visa so what you can do is you can first of all make application for your visa so the visa will cost you about 2750 for one year or 5000 dirham for three years so you make application for the visa and then you also need to make application for the uh, freelance permit so it's going to cost you less Let's say a scenario for one year. So for one year, it will cost you two two thousand seven hundred and fifty for the um, for the visa, and then you also need seven thousand five hundred dirham for the freelance permit and two thousand dirham for the. Um, for the establishment fee so this maybe should come to about maybe like uh let's say maybe like twelve thousand dirham i'll just do the calculation here i'm not sure if i'm good in maths <laughs> so i'll do the calculations here for one year for you to be able to see how much you need to pay and then for three every year you need to renew your freelance permit with seven thousand five hundred dirham and i think one thousand seven hundred uh, for the establishment fee so this is constant every year you need to renew that now that you known the cost for making application for the for, for making application for, for the freelance permit uh, you want to know what are the documents that are needed for you to make this application so the documents that will be needed for you to make this application is you need you, you need a passport photo you also need uh, you also need your original passport and you need valid medical insurance now that you your own boss you need to get your own um, medical insurance so passport copy uh, your passport uh, your your physical passport the one the the travel passport document and then the passport photo and then you also need um, medical insurance you need to have applied for medical insurance and then now you also need now the other things like um, UAE phone, phone number and you also need now the permit the freelance permit and all that 
so th that's how you, you th th those are the documents that are needed and to make application you can either apply online on gofreelancer.ae which is somewhere around here or you can also go to these these offices and then you can ask them like how to go about it once you've already made the application you've registered you've paid the money you've gotten your visa then you're good to go i just want to uh, highlight a few points one you don't need a physical office like we say this is freelance visa you can work from home or you can get a flexi desk, a desk and work from there and also you don't need a no objection certificate which is very good so if you're your resident here you don't need to go to your sponsor and tell them you need an objection certificate no objection certificate for freelance visa this is not needed and then also you can sponsor your family members and one last point it's easy to open a bank account because now you're going to be operating like a business owner so you it's easy to open a bank account once you have this uh, freelance visa yes once you have this freelance visa and one last point for because this is like you're having your own business you don't need audited accounts you know the way you have a business and then you need it audited and all that this is not required which is very good because honestly maths is an issue but you there are applications like on um, on apple store or other places whereby you can or you can you know track your finances because if you're not tracking your finances then there is you're not doing your budgeting and you're not doing your balance Sheet, it means um, you're not able to track what's coming in and what's going out which is very important for you to run a good business so these are some of the points for you to have a freelance visa um, I've sent you the website for Dubai and Abu Dhabi here somewhere down here and there are also these offices somewhere around here that you can go check and get more information and I wish you all the best as you do freelance um, you do your freelance it's so much fun for all the content creators for all those people out there that are doing photography that are doing acting and dancing you know on any any other thing accounting marketing uh, brand ambassadors or brand content uh, brand what are they called all those uh, skills out there an educationist I wish you all the best as you set out let me know if you guys have any questions I keep saying if you do what you can do God will do what you cannot do thank you ciao